Welcome to Aikido Flow. Today we're going to be looking at how to avoid being pulled down to the ground. Okay, this is something that just crops up all of the time in martial arts or fighting. It's a key component and we think it's really important. So we're going to have a look at that today. Okay, I'm going to tell you a story. I know you love stories and I love telling stories. When I was young, before I trained in martial arts, I had, um, I had, a, I was in school and somebody came from outside school to, to have a fight with me. And of course, it was like a covert operation. And what happened was the fight happened in uh, the toilets. And I never forget that because it was a, um, it was a struggle for about 10 minutes. And he was trying to get me down to the floor because he didn't really have any kind of, kind of skills really, like fighting skills. And to be honest with you, to be down on the floor is probably one of the most dangerous places that you can be unless you train in ground techniques. But even if you train in ground techniques, if you fall on the floor and you've got four people running up and kicking you, okay, you've got no choice at all. And I never, I never ever forgot that. So I think this video is actually quite important because uh, we're gonna have a look at strategies to, to avoid you getting caught on the floor. Because if you get caught on the floor, you're gonna be in trouble. People won't lean down to do stuff to you. They will just stand up and kick you up on the floor. That's it. You absolutely do not wanna be down on the floor at all. So we're actually gonna take a look at some strategies to protect you from this. The first strategy is simply keeping people away because what because one of the strat one of the strategies is is that people will come down okay to try to try to actually take you down so one of the strategies is I mean it's just to simply move that's it be aware of the fact that that is that, that is actually happening okay you just actually move okay second strategy is to and and th and this is actually the principles and the power of aikido is that the tech the techniques that you learn you're learning to understand principles of movement so you can take the technique away and then you still have the actual principle of that movement and then you can apply that to anything that you like so the second movement is to come off line so as he's coming into me I simply come off 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 line and I can I can do it in a variety of different ways I just simply have to come off off the straight line so I could put uh, the lot the last idea together with this offline and I could effectively just take him offline so he would he would not have an opportunity just to just to really do anything. The energy is coming in. I simply move off the line of the energy. I simply move off line. They will readjust, but that's okay because you can readjust. Again, in Aikido, we practice to move. Bird is just shouting out, telling you know, saying, "I agree with you. I agree with you." Anyway. The, pr the principle is that we, we see a lot in Aikido, we see a lot of these dancing movements and people say, ah, it's just dancing, it's just rubbish and blah, blah, blah. It's practice, it's, it's, tip, it's teaching you how to move, okay? In a real fight um, situation, there's no time to be doing specific techniques and movements. All you're left with are the principles okay because everything gets really messy so all you're left with is your own movements and we we train in aikido to spin our hips to you know to move so let's say you are unfortunate enough to 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 get caught 
okay? We always have to look at these scenarios. We always have to look, we, 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 can't, we can't look at the best case scenario. Yeah, things always work out. Well, you know what? Anybody that's lived any type of life at all knows doesn't work out a lot of the time. So, same thing applies to martial arts. I'm trying to move, but I'm just a little bit too slow, okay? All right? I'm getting old now, so yeah, that is great by the way. So, comes in, so I get caught. Okay, I've got no choice. Now, if I hang here for more than a couple of seconds, I'm going down. Nice little technique is behind, okay, under here is actually really sensitive, okay? So, I don't know why, okay? But it is, so it's really, really sensitive. And if you actually pinch that really, really hard, you actually pinch into the muscle, it actually creates a response. So you know what? We can use that. that I'm, gonna, I'm gonna call it a pinch and aggy, all right? So I'm gonna name that myself, pinch and aggy. Anyway, so we're here, so we get, so we get caught up and, okay, here, the back, the back of his, um, his muscle is completely exposed. So all I need to do is pinch into that, and that's it. He comes off. Trust me, it will work. So, in conclusion, you definitely don't want to be in a recovery situation. You, you certainly want to be um, trying to preempt whatever's going on. Uh, because you don't want to get in a situation where you're trying to then recover yourself. If you are unfortunate enough to be in that situation where you have completely missed it, okay, and it's just hitting you, move, come offline. Remember, power, power is kind of like a straight line. Even if it comes around in a circle, it's still coming in one line. So you can always move off that line, even if it just grazes you in some way, it still is far better than being directly in, in line with that strong energy that just hits you straight away. And uh, um, practice these techniques. Uh, the, be the best way to be comfortable with them is to practice them in the park with friends, or um, you can practice it like in your dojo maybe, um, yeah, practice it and become comfortable with it. Repetition is always the key, always the key. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, enjoy your training, have fun, enjoy yourself. If you're not, if you're not laughing and, enjo and enjoying uh, training with people, uh, you need to train with other people, okay? It must be enjoyable because you're gonna be doing it for an awful long time. So make sure you enjoy it, otherwise there's no point in it. Anyway, I'll see you on the next video.